What's going on boys and girls, it's Muntich Gaming here again and welcome back to the channel. Today we're back over on Ark Survival Evolved, official PvP, and I believe this is episode 16 of my Road to Tech series. Now if you guys are unaware, a uh, wildcard rolled out a forced mind wipe, I think it was uh, this morning, like maybe 6 or 8 hours ago, somewhere around there. And I've already reassigned uh, most of the points, I've just got one left here. Uh, but it got me to thinking, I was like, what's my actual weight when I don't have Swamp Fever? So, today, we're out here doing a meat run, because uh, our dinos are pretty low on meat. But I thought, might as well come out here and get some leech blood as well for the uh, cure, or whatever it's called. Anti, I don't know. I think it's just called cure, right? But anyway, we need leech blood for that either way. So we're just out here grabbing that, as well as the meat. I think we've got some leech blood already. Yeah, we've got 10, but I'm not too sure how much we need. Let me just check that right now. Now oh, that's what it's called, lesser antidote. And we need three leech blood. Now it'd be great if I could just make one lesser antidote and be be fine, but I'm gonna have to make multiple for everyone in the base as well as the dodos. I'm not even sure if we can use them on the dodos. Time to start farming up some leech blood. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into the episode and I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, it looks like we've killed all the leeches. How much leech blood do we end up with? 28, so I think that's enough for nine. Yeah, awesome. All right, let's head back to base feed our dinos and then make up these cures so that we can uh, run around with normal stats and craft. Wait, what? Does this make multiple at the same time? I fucking hope so. Because it says... What? Okay, it does. Oh, thank God. Oh wow, so we can make 12 and we have leech blood left. Perfect. All right. Cool. Awesome. Let's take those, and now, moment of truth, can we cure the dodos? Yes, we can. Awesome. Today, I think we're going to take it nice and slow. We're going to farm up a bunch of resources for a greenhouse. Now, I'm still undecided where I'm going to chuck this greenhouse. If I put it here, it's kind of a line of sight issue, just like this pen here is. And I haven't taken it down for some reason. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to chuck it outside of the ob. Uh, maybe over there on that like plateau thing or maybe on this plateau over here I think that would be a pretty good place to put it not too far from the base and once we do end up putting up uh, the turret towers it will be protected by turret towers then so yeah hey wait I'm gonna get stuck into farming and I'll see you guys when I see you guys all right now before we get started I need to level up the Yaji so I've got six here look guys six shadows has joined the tribe no I'm just kidding that's me on my other account um, the reason why I'm doing this is because I need someone to sit on the uh, the dino that I'm trying to level up while I'm grinding and that will give it the shed XP. So we're going to go ahead start grinding up this wood and I'll get a bunch of XP and this Argentavis will get a bunch of XP as well. As you can see it's flying up at the moment. Now this is probably like, I wouldn't say the best, maybe it is the best way to level up your dinos. I'm not too sure. Let me know what the best way to level up your dinos is in the comments below. But this is probably the easiest way in my opinion. Just have someone sit on a bird and then you just grind stuff in the grinder. And don't forget you need to use a Lystra as well for the uh, the bonus dino XP. So anyway, I'm going to get this leveled up. As you can see I've already got a level there. 6k XP. I uh, really want to get like maybe two, just over 2k weight on this bird. The bird like these bird stats were pretty garbage, but if we can get over 2k weight, that'll be fucking excellent. And then we can start farming a bunch of resources. And we're back. Just finishing up the slot cap of wood. I think we just got like two rows left here. This looks about right. As you can see, body bag is completely empty. And I actually gained a level. 92 now. Uh, what are we going to chuck that in? Probably movement speed, yeah. So level 92, eight more levels till heavy turrets. I don't know how much XP that is. I'm going to say it's a lot. And over here, the RG has gained 16 levels. We may even get 17 once we finish all this wood. I'm not too sure. Uh, we'll just chuck all this into weight and see what we get. Awesome. We broke 2k. That's all we were aiming for. And it looks like we may even get level uh, one more level. That'd be awesome. 17 levels from a full slot cap of wood. What's the XP? Four. What's that? 46,000? Nearly 47,000. Not bad, not bad. I really want to tame some more RGs, uh, but for that we need some Stegos. 
stego kibble and actually we do need stego kibble for imprints as well so we're going to tame up some stegos as well yesterday xero jumped on and we tamed up a quetz it was only level 45 i think it ended up level 60 or something up here so that's good and it's pretty much only going to be used for taming so for megatherium stegos um all that big stuff we can use that to tame them so we're just going to put all the levels into stamina we're not even going to wait, worry about weight might put a few points into weight just for wood runs and stuff like that so yeah once this wood is finished we're going to head out grab some sap we've got some sap taps up already and then we're just going to start on the cakes going to need those cakes for some more snails like i said i want four or five of them and then we need to get started on the greenhouse as well because we're kind of running out of crops as you can see here we don't have many uh, we've been using them all on cakes and uh what else we used them on something else i forgot yeah, i completely forgot what we're using it all on it was kibble cakes and something else that used heaps but anyway we're gonna need more so we're gonna have to set up that greenhouse so before we get started on the cakes i'm just <laughs> i'm just gathering up a bunch of stegos right now hopefully this one can fit in there too awesome so got one male and two females in there that should be enough for now so I'm going to go ahead and knock them out and then we can uh, start farming up the resources we need for the cakes. I think the only stuff that we need, we've got sap here, we've got fiber, we've got veggies, we've got medjo berries. I think the only thing we need is stimulant. So we're going to have to go farm up some stim berries. We've got the, got the honey out here as well. So yeah, it's just stimulant that we need, I think. So I'm going to knock these guys out and then we're going to go farm up some stim berries, make the stimulant and then we can start making the cakes. There we go, they're all peacefully sleeping in this shitty tamey pen. And there we go, that's all the honey we have. How many cakes did we end up with? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, almost 45 cakes. Not bad at all. Alright, time to start looking for some low level snails and uh, bring them back to base to tame up. Alright, we're back and the two lowest snails that we could find was a level 25 and a level 10. I spent like 40 minutes flying around. I killed all the higher level ones so we're going to continue looking for them but for now we're just going to tame these two quickly before dinner. So we got this level 10 here, easy, and this level 25. Alright, snails are tamed up. We're going to chuck it up here with the other two. I don't know if it can fit here though, let's see. Perfect, alright, I think we can access all of them. Yeah, we can. Alright, cool. Let's chuck some stone and wood into this guy to encumber him. And then we can put him on wandering and start reaping the benefits. Alright, there we go. Fully encumbered. Chuck your wandering. Awesome. Alright, great. We've got three snails done now. The uh, stegos are still taming up. Let's check them out. 68%. This one's almost done, 86% and 60%. So I'm gonna knock these guys up and then gonna head out to dinner and we'll come back and hopefully these are tamed up and not woken up. And we're back from dinner, nice and refreshed, had a shower as well. Oh, can't beat some Japanese curry and rice. It's not, it's nothing special, but mwah, fucking delicious. Sprinkle some cheese on that bitch and it's fucking amazing. Anyway, stegos are tamed up while we're away, so we're gonna pick those out of the pen, place them at the wall. I'll probably just chuck them here. I've already moved the turret out of the way, so just chuck them up against this wall here. And uh, we'll probably go out and look for a few more females since we do want quite a few of them for Argy Kibble. And at the same time, we'll be looking for low level snails. And then once we find some of those, we can start on the uh, greenhouse. Hell yeah, boys, we found a level 10 snail while we're doing a metal run. So just gonna fly back and tame this bad boy up and oh my god RGs are amazing that sounded full gay and we're back got extremely lucky doing the meat run found uh two level 10 snails so that's all of our cakes done now we're completely out of cakes but we've got plenty of snails now we've got those two there and then we've got these four in here so six snails that will set us right up for the rest of our journey road to tech and uh we shouldn't need any more paste there we go, both tamed at exactly the same time. Fuck yeah. Let's take these inside, and um, if you guys haven't seen already, there's actually going to be a two times event over the weekend. Two times taming, XP, and uh, resources as well. And I'm really excited because I'm hoping that I can hit level 100 during two times or before then, and then we can pump out a bunch of heavy turrets. I wouldn't mind getting like maybe 20 or 
Yeah, I'm going to go with 20. I don't know if I'll be able to do any more solo, but if we could get 20 heavy turrets up, ah, oh, I'll be fucking so happy. Okay, so initially I was planning on putting the greenhouse like out there on that plateau or out on that one there. But then I thought about it. I was like, wait, I'm trying to build a greenhouse for like a tribe of like 10 people when it's basically only me. So I'm going to downsize it completely. I was planning on doing a 3x4, but now I've thought like, why can't I just do like a 2x2? And attach it to our crafting area. I think that's going to work. And I don't think it's going to be an issue like defensively. Yeah, it's not going to be a problem defensively. I think we're going to do a 2 by 3 And we're going to put a door here. Yeah, we'll put a door here. And then we'll put it uh, 2 out and 3 across. And that should be perfect. Yeah, I'm liking that idea. Uh, the only thing I need to figure out is how I'm going to do the foundations. Because as you can see, they need to be dropped. So I'm going to try and drop the foundation from here down and see if it works. Alright, so we're going to demo this wall here. Hopefully nothing drops. Okay. That's good. Alright, put that there. Now I just need to craft up some thatched foundations. Hopefully this works. Oh, it does. Beautiful. Okay, that's good, that's good. Now, do I want to try and drop it? again that's a question right, let's drop that again and then drop it one more i think how's that look should we even go one more hell yeah let's go one more why not all right cool there we go demolish all of this now let's chuck in the real foundations just like that now we can take this one up can we still walk through here yes we can Excellent. That's a bit weird though, like it <laughs> kind of gets stuck on there. Maybe we can put a uh, ramp or a slope ceiling there. Yeah, we should be able to put a ramp there. Okay, let's chuck up the door. Just like that. Easy. Alright, cool. Now, I'm undecided if I want to go one high or two high on the walls. Actually, that's not an option. We have to go too high to cover the door. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. Now onto the stacking part. If you guys haven't seen this before, which I'm sure most of you have, uh, but ha if you haven't, this is how you do it. Pretty much just walk back until it goes green and then you should be able to place it. And the way to get it all lined up is just move as close as you can to the wall until it goes red and then just move until it goes green again. Just like that. Awesome. So you get the idea there. Um, let's just chuck up the next walls so that we don't have any accidents and uh, then we'll continue on. Okay, there we go. One stack done. Bit out of line there. I don't know what happened, but oh well, that'll do. <laughs> can we chuck a ramp in here? Oh, we can. Is it in? Oh, awesome. Ah, oh, perfect. Oh, that's so good. All right, cool. I'm slowly realizing that this is probably too many crop plots for me anyway. <laughs> I was going to do uh, three more stacks of these, which I'm not going to need. So what I actually might do is just put two stacks of these and then do this side like all the fridges or something. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Yeah, I like that idea. All right, let's get this other stack in and then we can uh, close it all off. And there we go. Perfect. All right. Awesome. Looking good, boys. Looking good. Now, just need to finish off these walls and then chuck up the glass ceilings. And would you look at that. Absolute beauty. Now, to prevent people from sea spinning into the fucking glass ceilings, you're going to have to put up spike walls. And perfect. I think that looks good. Just need to move out some turrets around the ground here. And then we should be set. Alright, there we go. Got our turrets down outside of this greenhouse area. Now all that's left is to grab a bunch of seeds, chuck them in these, fertilize them. Oh, we also need to irrigate it. I almost forgot. Let's quickly do that now. There we go. Perfect. I think these are all irrigated now. Yeah, they are. Excellent. Alright, cool. Alright, so there you have it guys. I haven't filled these up with the seeds yet. I actually don't have any seeds. I need to go get those as soon as possible and fill all these up. But I've placed in three fridges here and I've got the uh, the beehives here as well and they're accessible. I had to put in a window 
because I actually forgot that you can't place beehives on this foundation, so that's a bit annoying. But nevertheless, this works as well. I'm not too sure if this is bad defensively, uh, since if they destroy these, there's going to be a fucking hole there. Um, I tried putting them back and having an actual window there that you could open, but it was just really finicky trying to get the right position so that you can open and close the window. So we just opted to do this, um, which in my, in my opinion is completely fine. And then out here, we've got the snails all lined up on this thing. Uh, don't ask me how I did it, but I did it and it looks fucking amazing. I love it. It's fucking awesome. It's like a turret wall of snails just shitting out paste. It's fucking great. Um, and yeah, just it's kind of opened up a lot of room. Well, not really. Yeah, it hasn't really opened up anything, but really happy with the green room. Looks fucking amazing. And uh, we've got a glorious two times approaching, which is going to be fucking lit. Uh, won't have to worry about any paste. Can smash out as many turrets as possible. And uh, have a jolly old weekend of grinding. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I'm really happy with the progress we made today. And uh, if you did like it, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Comment in the comment section below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, stay fucking awesome. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.